I did have a Zen 13 hours till I land, having out like a light, hey. like a light, hey. like a light. Hey. Slept through the flight, hey. not for the night. 767, man, this shit got double bedroom, man. I still got scores to settle, man. I crept down a Hello, welcome to another video. So if you remember a few months ago, we took a look at a Lenovo ThinkPad R500. While that laptop is nice, it wouldn't be very good as an everyday laptop due to its size and weight. However, since then, I've acquired this Lenovo X130e laptop for $40, which is about the same price as the R500 laptop. And in my opinion, it would be a better everyday laptop. The X130 is kind of like a Windows version of a Chromebook. And parts of it are similar. For example, it has a weak CPU, small amount of RAM, small but decent screen with 1366 by 768 resolution, pretty lightweight and is easy to take around. However, unlike the Chromebooks, these things are fairly easy to upgrade. Remove three screws from the back, and you get access to two RAM slots. I upgraded my laptop from 2GB to RAM to 4GB, but just for testing. You can also replace the hard drive, which you would probably want to do, as mine came with a 5400 RPM hard drive. Sadly, you can't upgrade the CPU or graphics. Speaking of graphics, this thing comes with Radeon HD 6320 graphics. So it isn't great, but it is better than some of Intel's integrated graphics. So, how's its gaming performance? Let's find out. Now obviously this shouldn't be used for gaming. So what about doing things like web browsing? Well it is pretty slow but once the website is loaded it isn't that bad. YouTube can play up to 720p with some frame drops. The webcam is pretty bad as it looks like it's recording 10fps and the quality is 40p. I couldn't get the internal microphone to work assuming that it has one. So in conclusion. Do I recommend this laptop over the Lenovo ThinkPad R500 that I reviewed a few months ago? I'm going to say yes, as long as you're willing to sacrifice performance for very good portability. These can be found for around the same price as the ThinkPad R500, and I think it's better in almost every way. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Yes.